What's up, YouTube? It is your girl, Kenya Danielle, honey, and I am back with another bang. Another bang, bang, bang for you guys. Your girl is here. Your girl is back, honey. Your girl is back. And I know what y'all finna say. I already know what y'all finna say, Kenya. Kenya, you've been gone for a little too long. You've been gone for a little too long. It's been, it's been a couple months. It's been a couple months and you ain't dropped nothing yet, but I promise y'all I got an explanation. I got an explanation, okay? But if you wanna, if you wanna know why, stay tuned for the next video, okay? Because I'm gonna drop all that information in the next video, okay? But I've been seeing y'all in the comments. I'm seeing y'all in the comments saying we need another cooking with Kenya, another cooking video. So this is what I'm doing. This is why I'm here. You see the title in the video. Your girl is making her famous pancakes, okay? If you haven't seen a day in the life of Kenya vlog, I started cooking the pancakes, and I said, if y'all want the recipe, I was gonna drop it. And here it is, right here, on a silver platter, on a silver table, okay? I got y'all, I got y'all. But before we get into this video, okay? I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? And make sure you turn that post notification bell on to know when your girl be posting next, okay, honey? Let's get into this video. All right, y'all, so your girl's making the homemade pancakes, okay? If you haven't had Kenya's pancakes, you're missing out, okay? You're missing out, and that's on period. Now, in the salmon video, y'all kind of came for me a little bit, and y'all said I need to drop, you know, like, measurements and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to do that for y'all in this video. I'm putting it all in the description and everything, okay? So what all you gonna need is you gonna need some you gonna need some pancake mix. It don't matter what pancake mix you want. If you don't want Aunt Jemima, you want what's the other one? Bisquick or I don't know no other one because all I use is Aunt Jemima. But okay, so you gonna need some pancake mix, okay? You gonna need some butter. Now somebody came came for me in the comments and said this ain't butter. This is all the butter I know. This is the only butter I use. The only butter I know. Is it um what what y'all call this meringue or uh, uh what y'all call this? Put down in the comments what you call this, cause I know it ain't I know it's not really butter, but it's butter to me. So we gonna use we gonna need this, okay? Shoot that came off. You gonna need some sugar, okay? You gonna need your vanilla extract, okay? You gonna need some eggs, some vegetable oil, buttermilk, okay? You're gonna need a measurement uh, uh, cup. You're gonna need a tablespoon cup, a sifter, a bowl, a mixer, and of course you're gonna need the syrup. Okay, okay. So this is what we're gonna do, y'all. So I know y'all are probably gonna come for me in the comments again and say, Kenny, this is not how you measure. But look, okay, before I knew, cause y'all, I didn't know that um this only measures liquids and 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 then the the cup measures like flour and all that I ain't know that okay I ain't know that don't come for me so if you don't want to do it how I'm doing it go ahead and get you that cup that little cup and measure it like that but this is what I'm gonna do okay so let's move all of this stuff out the way because the first thing you're gonna need okay is your pancake mix now <laughs> I learned how to do this just by Googling like what makes pancakes moist and soft and fluffy and I just came up with my own recipe and this is just how it happened, okay? So you're gonna need a cup of your um of your pancake mix. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all make this for y'all kids. Y'all make this for y'all self and I promise you. Okay, hold on, let me tell y'all real quick. So the cup, you're gonna need one cup. I promise you, they're gonna fall in love because I know I did. As soon as I got done making it, I was like, can you, what in the world? Cause let me tell y'all how I used to make it. Back, let me tell y'all how I used to make it. All I did, oh, I think I put a little too much. Let me even it out real quick. Nah, I need a little bit more. All I used to do was take this pancake mix, add some water and put that thing in the pan. I didn't even follow the directions on the back of the box, honey. And then when I followed the direction on the back of the box, it was just like, okay, I need more. I need more. So I, I start adding some more stuff. So y'all, now I don't make pancakes no other way. No other way. Now if you need pancakes done, who they come who who they, who they talk to? Me. Alright. 
They ain't know. They not even gonna try to make the pancakes. Can you come make the pancakes? Girl, you got it. You got it. Okay, so we got the one cup, okay? So now, after that, we're gonna get a bowl and we're gonna sift it, okay? Ain't that, ain't that what it's called, sifting? Or separating something? I don't know. But all I know is I looked it up and it say it kind of get like the air or whatever, make it more fluffy or I don't know. Just know it helps, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and tap that in this bowl like it. As so, okay? And we're gonna, we just gonna keep doing that real quick. Y'all, these pancakes are gonna be so good. And honestly, I haven't made the pancakes in so, so, so long. And honestly, I can't wait to taste it. <clears throat> honestly. Okay. So we got all of that. All right. Okay. Now. Now. We got all of that in the bowl, right? Okay. We're going to set that aside. We're going to rinse this out. So let's rinse this out. So then what we're going to do is do the buttermilk. No, 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 no. Take it back. I'm sorry, y'all. I made I made them in a minute. We're gonna take this butter, right? And because y'all want some measurement ants, and y'all want some ants. Y'all, I'ma say get a tablespoon, a tablespoon of butter. But I'm gonna let y'all go ahead and, and do what y'all do. I'm gonna go ahead and get a you know a spoon or whatever. Slap that slap that in there just like it, right? Okay. Then what you gonna do? Ooh. My fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. See, I'm. See, hold up. Okay. Then what you gonna do? Pop this bad boy in the microwave, or melt your butter however you wanna melt it. Okay. If this is not what you wanna do, melt it however you wanna melt your butter. Okay. But I'm gonna stick this in the microwave, and I'm gonna put it on about 20 seconds. Let it melt. Let it do what it do. Okay. Then after that, you're gonna need your buttermilk. So let's wait until that melt real quick. Y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all, these pancakes are gonna be so moist and just so, oh, it's popping, it's popping, popping, pop. It ain't ready, it ain't ready. They're gonna be so moist and just fall apart and don't pay attention to that pop. Y'all y'all know, y'all know when the stuff start popping in the microwave and it ain't hot, it's doing that, it's doing that. There it go, okay. All right. All right, got the butter melted, okay? So then you're gonna need three fourth cup of buttermilk. Buttermilk will change your pancakes life. Trust me, okay? Y'all stop using that water and stop using that 2%. Don't use no almond, don't use none of that. You need that buttermilk. Something about buttermilk, get it get it right, okay? So you need, you're gonna need three fourths cup. Now, on my measurement cup, I don't have something that's gonna tell me that's three fourths. Okay, I don't I don't have that on here. So I looked it up, and you need twelve tablespoons. Okay, so I got my tablespoon right here, and I know I already know. Can you can't measure like that? Already, blah, blah, blah. but just do it. Okay, just do it. And if you want to do it or measure it a different way, you feel free. Feel free. But this is just how I do it, y'all. Okay. So we're gonna do 12, all right? Actually, yeah, we're gonna do 12. So boom, one, can y'all see? Let me move this bowl, okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna do 11, I'm gonna do 11. I'm gonna do 11. Y'all try 12 if y'all if y'all want. I'm gonna do 11, okay? Oh, I gotta sneeze. Hold on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay, never mind. All right. Next, you gonna need your vanilla extract, okay? This is all in this bowl, okay? So, what you gonna do is, honestly, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't measure my vanilla extract. I know, Kenya, measure your stuff. I know, but listen, okay? I don't. I told y'all when I made this video, I don't measure. It's about looks. It's about how you want your food to taste. But if y'all want it to come out just like Kenya's, oh, geez. let me give y'all 
an accurate measurement real quick. So let me see. The claws is in the way. Hold on, y'all. The claws is in the way. One second. <laughs> so I believe a tablespoon would be too much. So let's do a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm going to just fill this halfway. Do, 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 do. Pour that in there like that. All right. Then what we're going to do, we're going to mix this up, okay? Mix all this stuff together. Just like that. Okay? All right. Then, boom. Take that. Now, next, okay? Put that back just like that. You're going to need your vegetable oil, Okay? Clean the vegetable oil. If you don't put vegetable oil in your pancakes, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be moist. The vegetable oil makes it moist and soft and fluffy and see all of the above. Okay. So we're going to open this. And we're going to put two tablespoons. <sighs> Why well, can't open nothing, y'all? Hold it. Bulldog it. Two tablespoons, okay? So boom, that one. Boom, that two. Just like that. Just like that, honey, just like that. Okay, now you're done with the tablespoon measurements. You don't need this no more. I'm gonna put this to the side. Mix that in one more time. One more time. Yeah, I'm so excited to take these pancakes. They're gonna be so, so, so good. So good. Last time I made these pancakes, it was on Christmas. And we had a Christmas party. I made pancakes for everybody. And I don't know if it's just me, but you know how, like, if you're the cook and you're cooking the whole meal or, like, you cook a meal for a lot of people, after you get done eat, after you get done, it's like you don't even want what you cook. That's how it was. So I don't even eat a pancake, y'all. I don't even eat a pancake. But I'm ready to eat one today. Okay, so now I've got that all mixed up, so I'm going to set that to the side, okay? Now I'm gonna take this and we're gonna add some sugar. We're gonna add some sugar. <sighs> Y'all want measurements. Ah! Okay, let's do, let's say, let me, okay, let me measure it by my eye and then I'll let y'all know how much I think it is. We're gonna pour this into the pancake mix, okay? So, I'm gonna say a half a cup. I'm gonna say a half a cup. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to say half a cup. All right, so a half a cup of sugar, okay? We're going to set that to the side. We don't need the sugar no more. Let me rinse this spoon off. Next, y'all, we're just going to mix that mix that in there, okay? As so, just like that. Because when you make a pancake, the only sweetness, if you don't add no sugar, no vanilla extract, nothing, the only sweetness is coming from the syrup. And you need some sweetness in that pancake too. You need some flavor in that pancake. So that's where the sugar and the vanilla extract come in, okay? So, okay, got that all mixed together. Now, we're gonna pour our mixture in there. So, as so, just like that. Oh, yeah, just like that. Mm. Just like that. So, after that, you're gonna mix it. However you want to mix it, if you want to mix it with a mixer, mix it with a spoon, you know, do what you do. But I advise that you mix it with a spoon, toss it just a little, little bit, because you don't want to overmix it. If you overmix it, it's not going to be fluffy. So just mix it together like so. And if y'all need to see what it looks like, you know what, I'm going to mix it and then I'm going to show y'all how thick it is. One thing with buttermilk, the difference between buttermilk and regular milk, if I would have added 12 tablespoons, of the of the regular milk it would have been so soupy and so wet you know but the buttermilk it just makes it so thick and fluffy you know and that's the key to a good pancake right there all right so we're just gonna toss it we ain't even gonna make don't mix it hard y'all we're just tossing it everything in there like that and then I'm gonna show y'all what your batter should look like oh I can't wait to taste these pancakes y'all okay 
just like that. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up close so y'all can see. Hopefully y'all can see it real good. See how thick that, see how thick that is? It don't even fall off the spoon like it. It's real thick. Don't be scared of that, okay? Don't be scared of that. Let me get a good, get y'all a good picture. Okay. Of how thick that is. Y'all see? All right. Next is the egg. So, what I learned is if you just use the, the white of the egg, the white makes the pancakes fluffy and soft. So, we're going to separate an egg. So let me get this out of here. Y'all, these claws, y'all, these claws, but I love them. I love them. Okay, so I have nothing to, um, okay, there we go. Sorry, I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere, I'm everywhere, I'm everywhere. All right, let's separate this egg, okay? Only the whites, leave the yolk. All right. Oh, Jesus, oh, child. There we go. Separate that egg. Try not to get any yolk in there, y'all. Don't get no yolk. We don't need that. We don't need that yolk. There we go. Separate that egg just like that. Just toss and toss. All right. I think I got all of the, the whites. Okay. There we go. Let me, let me throw some trash. Let me throw some trash. So you just need one egg, y'all. Just one egg. And we're not going to just put this right into the pancake mix. Let me put my sleeve up. That's good. It's so good. So good. Okay. We're not just going to put the whites right into it. What we're going to do is beat it. We're going to beat the egg and make it white and fluffy. So this is where the mixer comes in. Oh, child. This is where the mixer comes in. Let me see if my mixer is going on. Yeah, well, okay. So what you're gonna do is mix it until it is white. I'm gonna show y'all what I mean. So go ahead and put it in here. white and fluffy that is y'all it don't even look like an egg yolk i mean not oh, i keep saying yolk can you get it together it don't look like egg white so after you got that you're gonna take your batter and you're gonna dump it on in here as so just like that see if y'all can see look how fluffy that is now on this part y'all do not mix the whites in there you have to toss it in there, okay? Don't mix it, you're gonna mess it up, okay? So just toss it gently until all of the egg whites is mixed in there. And then after that, y'all, the batter is done and it looks so, so good. Y'all gonna smell the vanilla extract and the sugar, oh, it smells so good. Just toss that egg white in there and then it's important after you get done tossing don't um it's important after you get done tossing to just let your batter sit for a minute because that makes it fluffy too when it just rests because when you make bread don't you gotta let that let that dough rest so it can be fluffy and stuff same thing with pancakes it's the same thing so boom toss that in there like that Mm, 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 mm. Just like so. Okay. Mm. Okay. Now I'm gonna show y'all what the better should look like. So the difference. See how creamy it looks now. It looks very creamy, and it's thick. 
that's how you oh like that boy just like that that's how you need it right there okay you don't want to over mix it though so i'm gonna stop but that's how it's supposed to look okay can y'all see all right so now that we got the batter done i'm gonna take y'all over to the stove we're gonna heat this um this skillet we're gonna get to making some pancakes okay so I'm gonna see y'all in the stove. Come on, come on. All right, y'all. So we are at the stove and we is ready, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the oven. I mean, put the stove. Y'all know I told y'all last time my, my, my oven top got numbers. So we gonna say, I got it on five. We gonna say medium low, maybe? Not medium high, medium low something like that okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the bottom or meringue whatever y'all wanna call it whatever y'all wanna call it and oh lord jesus so we're gonna go ahead and throw some butter in there if y'all want measurement like a tablespoon of butter okay we're gonna let that we're gonna let that marinate we're gonna let that melt now y'all can cook it in a skillet or you know whatever whatever you want to cook it in i just like cooking it on the little griddle thing so let that melt like that. If you cook your pancakes too fast, it's gonna cook on the bottom. And as soon as you flip it, it's gonna cook fast on the bottom too, on the other side. And then the middle ain't gonna cook. So make sure you start off at a low temperature, okay? So we just gonna do that like that. All right. Not all the butter has to melt. I like I like for the, the rest of the butter to melt into my pancake, okay? So we're gonna set the spoon aside. We're gonna take some pancake mix. It's, it's done set for probably like, I don't know, probably like five minutes, five, 10 minutes now. So boom, let's pour some in there. And y'all y'all pour how much y'all want and how big y'all pancake. But because our batter is so um, thick and it's not runny, if you pour a lot, it's gonna expand really, really, really big. So if you make a small portion or pour a small portion, it's gonna expand. So it's gonna be a nice size pancake that you want. So we're just gonna pour my little bad boy pancake right on in here. And just like that, put your bad boy in here. So y'all can see, let me move my uh, bubble. Y'all can see how much pancake batter I put in there. And then we're just gonna move it around, you know, spread it out a little bit. Okay. And y'all let your pancake marinate. Just let it marinate, let it cook slow on the bottom. Just like that. Now this is probably gonna make the measurements that we use. This is probably gonna make like, I don't know, four good pancakes, four nice size pancakes. If you're trying to make mini pancakes, it's gonna make a lot of them. Now with this batter, you can save it. If you don't use all of it, you can save it for one day, that's it. But you gotta wrap it in um, some saran wrap, put it in the refrigerator, okay? It can last for one day, that's it. Don't try, don't try to save this batter for two days and then you can make some good pancakes. No baby, no baby, you can't, okay? So just one day. So we're gonna let that marinate. Y'all, if y'all hear something boiling, my daddy making greens for me. It's gonna be exquisite, exquisite, okay? Exquisite. But yeah, so we're just gonna let, see how the pancake is getting like a little bigger. So I think I'm gonna turn, actually, let's see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually turn it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. So. Boom. So instead of five, we're gonna put it at six. Okay. Let that cook like that. Make sure you got your spatula. Let me get the spatch. All right. And while that pancake is doing what it's doing, it should take um let me think about how, how long. Hmm. Maybe five three to five minutes. It depends on how like how y'all like your pancakes. I like see, I like mine with the crust. Um, like the outer crust to be like golden brown and like a little crispy. I don't like it to be like pale. I don't want, I don't want to flip my pancake and it look like the color of, of, of it not being cooked. I don't like that. I'm sorry. 
but I like my crust golden crust. I'm, I like the outer part cr crust. You feel me? Hold, not y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But while it's doing what it's doing, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my area, and then I'm gonna come back to y'all when it's ready to flip. Okay. Okay. All right, y'all, we back at the skillet now. It's time to check out our pancakes. So you see the difference between how the pancake looked when we first put it in there and now it enrolls up. You know your pancake is ready for it to be flipped when like the little air bubbles start coming through, okay? So let's check the bottom and let's see if it's how I like it, okay? Let's see. So let me just lift the bottom and look underneath. Yup, just like it. Ready to flip, okay? Don't be scared to flip that pancake. Oh, just like it. Oh, yeah, Lord. Yes, God. So now that we did that, we're going to reduce the heat so it can cook at the bottom. So we're going to put it back at four. And what I like to do is poke a little hole at the top of the pancake. Okay, so it can make so I can make sure, you know, it's cooking all the way through. See how that pancake just rolls up as soon as I flipped it, y'all. Look how it's, oh, God. It's gonna be such a fluffy pancake, such a fluffy pancake. And so, okay, once you flip it, it don't take three to five minutes to cook on the other side because the majority of it is already kind of cooked. So just, just watch it, just watch it. Mm, y'all, this pancake gonna be so fire, I'm already knowing. What I like to do too is take the little excess butter and just rub it on top of the pancake. But I ain't gonna be all extra for y'all. I ain't gonna do that, I ain't gonna be extra. But yeah, this pancake is looking fire. I'm gonna move it just a little bit in the middle. All right. I say it's probably gonna cook uh, maybe like two to three minutes. Two to three minutes on the other side. And then yeah, y'all, it's it's basically it's basically done. Let me make sure it's right. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh yeah, it's done. See how quick that was? It's done. Yeah, just like that. And while that heat is just getting to it, I'm gonna go ahead and get my plate. I'm gonna grab my butter because we're gonna put some butter on top. Then it's time to put that syrup on there, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna see y'all at the other station, okay? Okay, y'all, so the pancake is off the skillet onto the plate. So next thing we're going to do, y'all, my favorite part, we're going to put some butter on top of that pancake. Okay? Y'all love a lot of butter. So we're just going to uh, scrape that on there like that. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, wait till you taste the pancake. It's so, so, so good. So good. I like to cut mine in fours, but that's just me. That's just me. I like for the syrup to get all up in there, okay? Boom, we're gonna set that aside. <sighs> Time for the syrup. Use the syrup that you want, any kind of syrup. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Ancient Mama syrup since we use Ancient Mama uh, pancake mix, okay? Yeah, just like that. Just like that. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. All right. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Let me show y'all what it looks like up close. Here I come. Don't even worry about it. Here I come. I'll come to you. Mm, look at that pancake. Look at that pancake. Oh, that look fire. Ooh. Ooh. All right. All right, y'all. Let's try it out. Mm. Pancake just see how it just as soon as you fork it, y'all, it just falls apart. Look how it just falls apart. Oh my god. Oh my god. My mouth is watering. The top of it is see how it just crumbles? Oh, okay, let's let's have a taste. It's so good and it's so fluffy. Just look how it just break apart. 
Let me get some syrup. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Yeah. That's how I remember it. Yeah, okay. Let me stop before I eat this whole thing on the camera. Ooh, see how we're just breaking apart? It don't even stay on the... I'm through. I'm through. I'm gonna eat the rest of this off camera. Mmm. You know what's good when it makes you wanna. Mmm. Woo! All right, y'all. That was cooking with Kenya. My pancakes, my famous pancakes. My famous pancakes, okay? It's soft, it's fluffy, it's crispy on, on the top. The pancake is just so, so, so far. So far. I'm gonna put the recipe down in the description, okay? If y'all wasn't listening to the recipe, you know? Okay? Mmm, Jesus. Mmm. Yes, God. I need some milk for mm. But anyway, y'all. Uh, if there's anything else that y'all want me to cook, go ahead and put it down in the, uh, the, the, um, the comments because I'm willing to do so. If you want more cooking with Kenya, let me know. Let me know. Okay, because your girl is watching all the comments. I see y'all. I hear y'all. And I deliver. Okay? So put down in the comments anything you want me to try to cook. And I got y'all. And I will drop the recipe. Okay? So if you love this video, make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Make sure that post notification bell is on to know when your girl be posting next thing. Okay? Don't forget to follow me on all social medias, Instagram and Snapchat. Instagram is simply K4A's one underscore. Snapchat is chill out underscore. Yo, if you got to pause, <coughs> just run that back. Don't even worry about it because it'll be down in the description below. Down in the description below, y'all. I will see you guys in my next banger in the banger after that. Your girl is out. <laughs>